Hello, Patrick Walchuk here, and as we do every month, uh, we've selected a five, or we select a building and we do the financials on it for you. And this month, we selected a five unit building. Uh, by the way, if you enjoy getting these videos, hit the subscription button, notification bell, and we'll get them sent out to you. So, anyhow, this five unit building is in the east end of Ottawa, and it is within the green belt, though. <clears throat> so, we'll break down the financials for you in a couple of different ways. So, let's start with the list price. And it was listed for a million three hundred fifty thousand. It sold for a million three hundred thirty-five thousand dollars. The scheduled rental income, call it eighty-three thousand. When we deduct three percent for vacancy and bad debt, it brings us to about eighty thousand uh, dollars. The operating expenses on it were reported as being almost seventeen thousand, and the total operating expenses uh, are when you include maintenance and management costs, and that brings us to almost twenty-five thousand. So the end result here, what our net operating income in this building turns out to be is close to $56,000. <clears> so when we use those numbers, we can now calculate the capitalization rate of a little over 4%. The operating expenses are almost 31%. Um, that's quite good actually, or on, on the surface it's quite good. And it sold for 17 times the gross and 24 times its net. Now, <clears throat> using a traditional or typical down payment of 35%, uh, $460,000 is, is that amount of your down payment. And that gives you a uh, mortgage of blah, blah, blah. But anyhow, the important thing here is the debt service on that mortgage, uh, that's how much you pay over the course of a year, your ADS, it's about $61,000. So when we deduct our net operating income from our annual debt service, that provides us with a negative cash flow of almost $5,000 and a negative ROI of about 1%. So, as we've been doing for the past number of months, well, if that's what happens when you have a 35% down payment, exactly how much does it take in order for this building to be cash flow positive, or at least break even? So go through the same numbers here and what we end up with is that we need a 41% down payment or about $550,000 to purchase this building so that we end up with a small positive cash flow of about $660 and that gives us a very small ROI of 0.12%. Thank you for watching.